Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from RoboJax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use uh, the current sensing feature of this Arduino motor shield to measure the current and then take some action based on the current for a DC motor, either tiny or the bigger one like this. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. A separate video explaining how to use this fully uh, so you can watch the video the link also will be provided in the description below so in this video I'm not going to cover anything about how to use this I'm going to go directly with the current sensing so you have to watch the other video uh, that I've explained everything and I'm just using the feature on top of the code that I've provided uh, for the introduction of this uh, shield uh, this motor shield has a current sensing feature and how it works is that uh, this chip needs external resistor so the current from each channel A or B will pass through those resistors and then we know by Ohm's law that when a current passes through a resistor uh, the voltage that appears across the resistor corresponds to the current so we can know the current and this one already has those two resistors here 0 0.15 ohm resistors here. chip also can accept only up to 2 ampere per channel so total will be 4 ampere so 2 ampere will pass through this resistor and 2 ampere will pass through this resistor but uh, my test showed that anything above 1.5 or 1.3 it will heat up uh, significantly so i used it without a fan the current appears here at the pin for channel a it will be at a0 and then for channel B uh, would be for A1 so you can have two separate motors and measure the current separately and take action separately if you are using the current sensing you can connect it for channel A that A0 is connected for current sensing and for channel B A1 is connected for current sensing this A1 a1 and 0 so this is for channel A this is for channel B internally connect to measure the current of the motor we can connect it to sense 0 and sense 1 it will be read at A0 and A1 and there are some internal circuitry that I've, uh, I'm going to show you next which will change the voltage accordingly so it, uh, if you have maximum of 2 ampere you will get maximum of 3.3 volts so based on that proportionally we have to adjust and do the calculation sense pin of the chip sense pin A and sense pin B this is going to the ground through this 0 0.15 ohm resistor and this is for A and from B also it goes to the ground via this 0 0.15 ohm resistor if we were to just read the um, current directly we could read the voltage and by ohm's law you can get the current but here the sense B and sense A are connected sense A and sense B are connected through this op amp and they are scaling it and it has been amplified here after that it goes to this sense 1 and then sense 0 sense 1 and sense 0 and then sense 1 and sense 0 are connected to this analog this is A0, A1 as you can see this is A2, A3, A4 so this is A1, A0 and that's A1 so we can read that here I've created this code uh, for calculating the current the rest of the code is the same except I've just added analog 0 and then current sense B this is a pin referring to that uh, this uh, factor so it gives you 2 ampere at 3.3 volts so we are getting a factor 2 divided by 3.3 to get the current we are getting we are using this one analog read current sense B I'm using the B I've defined it here current sense A 
analog zero and then current sense B this is a pen referring to that so well, I'm using map saying that between 0 and 1024 map it between 0 to 5 because the analog pens are reading up to 5 volts and the whole thing because uh, it's I've, I've scaled it 1000 that's millivolts I'm dividing it by 1000 and then we are getting the current voltage value and then we are multiplying the current voltage value by the factor that I've calculated this is the value of 2 divided by 3.3 uh, so this will print the current for us I've connected the motor to Arduino I'm gonna move it a little away and for you here this is a current meter or power meter I'm connecting it and in the meantime you will see the current here So current at the moment is zero in the motor. This is the value that I'm reading, 1.2, and we're reading here the actual current. As you can see the value was corresponding to this one with some uh, variation but it was 1.2, 1.15, 1 1.2 so about 100 milliampere difference. This is not uh, very precise but uh, you can set the current limit for example detecting if the current is above certain value or below certain value you can take them some action or prevent something let's say the motor will heat up or the system will heat up or the current goes above so let's say 1.8 you can shut off or speed this up or slow it down based on sensing the current now I've updated the code so instead of printing it directly here I'm putting it and storing it in a new variable called current and then printing it so if you want to take some action based on the current for example you can set a current if if current is larger than 1.25 then you can do some action here for example you can apply break you can say break and uh, because this is current sensing B I will say we have to call it we have to add a B here and then also the same variable is here and also we have to get the current as current B to be safe because if you're measuring two current there should be current B and then current B so here we can say if current B is bigger than 1.25 then we can say B break 1 1 mean stop apply break or whatever you want so I, this was just an example you can do the other way if the current is less than that go with certain speed or if the current increases slow down you can put any of these other value you can put uh, motor speed or whatever you want so you can do that and here I made it a little fancy for example you when you uh, detect the channel B current if it's above 1.25 or uh, whatever value you want then first apply break B comma one and then then release the brake before you start moving and then before the uh, motor was running in CW clockwise now we are going in the counterclockwise changing the direction so all this hap happens only if the current is above this value um, if you if you want to do for both channels so you must have these two lines the first line which is this was here for channel B, channel B and then for A the same way we have to read the sensing converted from the pulse width, uh, from the digital point to the millivolts and then divided by 1000 and then multiplied by the factor and then get the current on channel A so you have to have this 
two line for one channel and then this two line for the other channel and your current for channel B will be this variable and channel A this variable and here I used it in here for channel B to do all this and you can do the same thing for channel A. Thank you for watching this was how to use this Arduino Uno motor shield if you like the video please thumb up and also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. Now